Hello. Today we are visiting Natalia Sirokina again, continuing our tradition. She's welcomed us today as usual, and we are here to get to know a new pattern. Hello. Today I'd like to propose you a pattern. I believe it is new. But maybe if some of you have tried it, you will be so kind to share your experience. I propose you to call it treble crochet. The pattern is rather simple. It is woven with two tubes in circle. As a result, you get a kind of open work. Look, here the pattern is a bit different, a kind of improvisation, but let's talk about it a bit later. The pattern is so easy to perform that everybody is sure to master the tutorial is in, in a matter of seconds. So let's watch the process on the example of working tubes. I propose you to watch this pattern on two tubes of different color. I'd also like to add that the tubes have to be wet and soft. That's why after painting I keep all my tubes in plastic bags. I tie them and they can be kept like this for a few days. I don't paint many tubes at once, but I do have some bags with tubes like this. So the tubes are wet. We take two tubes and make a regular braid. One tube is behind the pole while the second tube is in front. Now I am showing you a basic pattern. First we will think of how to improvise it. We take a tube that is in front of a pole and wrap the pole with it. This way. We lead it forward and it goes behind the following pole as it had to. We've done it. Now we have the pistachio tube in front. We repeat all the same actions. We bend the pole a little to avoid pulling the work too tight. Turn, press and lay it behind the next working tube. That's all. Continue weaving our pattern. The yellow tube, bring it down a little, press and so on. And this way weave the row up to the end. I have woven a row with our tubes on my training item. Further, I will continue performing the same pattern. The number of the poles I have is even. That's why yellow color will be over the yellow one and the pistachio one is over pistachio. So make the second row in the same way. This way I have woven two rows with our tubes. I'm getting a pattern like this. I have made it of a bit larger scale on this basket. Everything is just the same. Here there are four rows. The pattern turns out open work, but because we wrap each pole with a tube, it is very thick. I believe it looks rather nice. Now what's next? What else I've tried to do with this pattern? I'm not going to take advantage of your attention, so from this side all the same things have been done. Pay attention that there are yellow and blue tubes here. But with the yellow tubes I have wrapped the poles, while the blue ones I have laid just like a regular rope. There is not much difference between these two patterns, but this one is a little more open work. I have woven this large network using this open work pattern. There are two sections, four rows in each. It can be used for keeping onion or bed linen or for some different purposes. If you need an open work but at the same time dense article, you can apply this pattern. What else have I tried? I've tried weaving with the tubes of the same color. The same kind of open work but one colored. When I have woven this article, I've noticed that the wrong side looks rather nice as well. So, since we weave our pattern in the technique of a direct rope, if we want to turn the bottom side into the right one, we have to weave it using the technique of an opposite rope. So I've tried on a different training item and woven three rows in the technique of an opposite rope. 
In this case, we wrap each pole with a tube that lies behind. And one more point. If the number of the poles is odd, then these three rows, here they are, shift. I believe if we make a larger article, then it will look like spots on a field, though a pattern will be slantwise anyway. Actually, that's all. Anyway, I'd like to occupy a few more minutes of your attention. I'd like, to, I'd like you to show us in detail how to weave a pattern inside out. It looks very nice, so I believe that the details will be just to the point. So, okay, let's examine in detail how to weave the pattern to turn the wrong side into the front one. As I have said, we weave using the technique of an opposite row. Here are my two tubes. At first I lead the front tube behind the pole this way. At the same time I lead the behind pistachio tube in front. As for the yellow one, we lead it toward us and wrap the pole with it from the front. Now I lead the pistachio tube behind, keep the yellow one here, and wrap the pole with the pistachio tube. This way. Continue working. Again, the yellow tube goes behind, the pistachio one goes in front. Wrap the pole with the yellow tube and this way up to the end of the row. So, here are two rows woven in this pattern. You can see it here on this basket from inside. Here we wrap poles with both tubes, though we can just pass one of the tubes like in a regular rope without wrapping it. For some reason, this pattern has drawn my attention when performed with the tubes of the same color. I've noticed that it looks rather nice. The principle is the same, but the pattern looks completely different and rather nice as well. And it is rather easy to perform, which is good as well. You don't have to adjust any additional tubes to the poles, but just weave the whole pattern with two tubes, and that's all. One more thing I'd like to draw your attention to. Earlier we had the habit of using beads for lifting one of the sides. Here I have applied this pattern again. Look, here I have made the braid. Afterwards, partially on eight poles, I have performed the pattern. Then I have woven a regular rope again, and then applied my pattern to these eight poles again. Then. When I have reached the next row, I have engaged six rows instead of eight. Here the open work makes the pattern lift, while here the regular rope keeps it on the same level. As a result, we have got the shape like this. So you can use this pattern to lift the sides of the article without making any incomplete rows. And you get a smooth raise like this. So good luck to all of you. I will be happy to see your works with my pattern.